Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to multiply these two given matrices. Before we get started, just keep in your mind that both of these matrices are, their dimension is 3 by 3. 3 by 3 means 3 rows and 3 columns. The normal way to multiply any of these two given matrices is usually we get the left hand side the, on the left hand side you take this first row and then multiply with the first column so usually the flow chart is going to go like this way from left to right and top to bottom usually that's the way flow chart is but I'm going to show you really easy way and here is the matrix scheme that we will be using our answer matrix is going to look like much like this one since we are dealing with these three by three matrices our answer matrix is going to be three rows and three columns as well you can see that three rows and three boxes mean three columns so let me just get started okay now i will show you how to fill in the blanks in these given parentheses or in this slot i will show you where the blue number is going to go and where the red, red number is going to go so let's get started with the left hand side matrix the blue matrix so look at this one these numbers the first column over here this is going to go in this first slot over here this one over here you can see this one that is going to go right up here and finally this is going to go right up here so let me just go ahead and fill in the blanks over here so these number blue numbers going to become negative two zero nine five eight negative 4 and over here 1 negative 7 negative 3 do you see where this number go now we're gonna repeat this same process these blue numbers gonna go over here in the same slots over here we're gonna repeat the process and here I have nicely put down these blue numbers you can see over here now we're gonna shift our focus on the right hand side matrix that means the red numbers look at these the very first column three negative five eight i am going to write this three negative five eight like this way so this column i'm going to make it a row like this one three negative five and eight so far so good and the next column over here this one you can see over here this i'm gonna put it right up here next one in the next box negative four two and nine and finally the third column this one you can see this six is gonna go right up here negative one is gonna go over here and zero is going to go over here the next thing is i want you to filter this three in all the way over here negative five is going to get filtered in over here and eight is going to go all the way over here what that means that means these numbers going to be three 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 this is going to become negative five negative five negative 5 and this is going to be 8 8 8 likewise this is negative 4 across the board over here here is going to be a 2 here is going to be 9 all the way here is going to be 6 all the way negative 1 likewise and then 0 in all these places and here is our final product you can see where the blue numbers are and where we have put down the red numbers now the next step is i want you to start simplifying negative two times three you multiply them so that's going to become negative six five times negative five it's going to become negative 25 one time eight is eight we're going to do all simplify we're going to multiply out all these 
parentheses and here is the next step I did so negative 6 showed up over here negative 25 right up here 8 is over here I just simplified them nicely and in the next step we are going to open up these parentheses to simplify and here I nicely put down without parentheses negative 6 showed up over here negative 25 8 and you can see this is a nice way of writing this thing and our final step is just go ahead and simplify add and subtract these numbers and that is going to be our answer let's go ahead and put it down negative 6 negative 25 plus 8 is going to give you negative 23 and the next number when we simplify that one is going to give you 27 that is going to be negative 17 over here this is going to be negative 96 here is going to be negative 47 and here is going to be negative 8 and here is going to be 23 and here is going to be negative 71 and finally this last number is going to be 58 and that is our answer matrix and once again the dimension of this matrix is once again 3 by 3 means three rows and three columns thus when you multiply these two given matrices this is our final answer and finally here's your assignment can you multiply these two matrices exactly the way i showed you you can take your time you can pause the video luckily i have already uploaded this video as well Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.